Okay, so this video is about modding, in this case, a Celestron SLT-130 uh, to take a DSLR camera and allow us to gain prime focus. So due to the fact that in a DSLR, the uh, sensor is so far back in the camera, um, we can't wind our focus in far enough to gain prime focus. So we have to move the mirror of the scope forward. So what happened here is I stripped the mirror out, stripped it all down and was going to do the job and then I thought why not make a video and let everyone else know how it's done. And this is the easy way. By doing it this way we're going to retain all our springs and everything and everything is available from the hardware shop in our case in Australia, most of us use Bunnings. So what we're going to need for this modification here um, is some M5 flat washers. Now I'm using all stainless washers and bolts in this case. And we're going to need six M5 by 50 millimeter bolts and six nuts. So they come in packs of three I just bought uh, two packs and that gives me my six bolts, six nuts. So the bolts are once again in the case for the Celestron SLT-130 uh, M5s by 50 millimeters long because we want to move the mirror 30 millimeters up and the bolts in there, because I've already taken it apart, are 20 millimeters long so if we add another 30 millimeters to that we need 50 millimeter bolts countersunk Phillips head hope I'm getting you in the camera there so countersunk Phillips head M50 uh, M5 by 50 bolts 50 millimeters and the other thing I bought I'm not sure it's going to work uh, is some butterfly bolts and these will be for the lock bolts once we have um, collimated our mirror. So the first thing we're going to do now, just to recap, I do have an SV Bonnie 205 camera. Um, I'm not happy with this camera. It's got a small sensor. Um, and even with a small 5 inch telescope when you look at the moon you can't get the whole moon in the frame only um, probably a quarter of it, a third of it so it's just it's too far zoomed in for what I want and of course this is no good for deep sky imaging uh, which I also want to be able to do so rather than go ahead and buy uh, one that's going to be suited that would cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I just bought this second hand DSLR. Um, in this case, it's the EOS 600D, and I got this for 120 bucks. So, you can't go wrong. And I want this camera to work with this scope so I can get the whole moon in the shot, and I can um, zoom in simply by adding Barlow lenses. Uh, once we've done the modification. Of course this camera will work if you add a Barlow lens but you're stuck with that Barlow lens and uh, sometimes you don't want to be that zoomed in. So to start our modifications first we're going to take our mirror out uh, in the case of the Celestron SLT-130 for Phillips head screws. So the tools we need for the job a uh, number one and a number two Phillips screwdriver and two 8mm open-ended ring spanners. So what I'm going to do now is I'll go ahead, I'll remove the mirror um, and the carrier from the tube and then we'll come back. Okay, so the four little screws on the side of the tube and our whole carrier comes out now you'll need a nice clean soft surface to work on in this case I'm just using a nice clean bath mat and also have 
some napkins there and that is for us to put our mirror on upside down. Now I did notice as soon as I took it out, I don't know if you can see it there, but this mirror is quite dirty. So while we got it out and apart, um, I'm also going to clean it. So I'll make that a separate video, but of course I will do it while I'm making this video. So yes, the mirror, a bit hard to see, but um, it is very dirty. So just put your mirror upside down on your nice clean soft napkins. First thing you want to do is take out the three lock screws. Like so. It's going to be a long video but um, we're going to go into detail with it. So we've got our three lock screws out <coughs> and the next ones are going to be your spring loaded ones, they're the ones that tilt your mirror so you can uh, collimate the scope. So just undo them evenly. Like so. And in this case we also have some plastic washers that these um, countersunk adjusting screws sit in. So when it goes back to the washer will fit over the first collar and sit against your carrier and there to prevent your washers digging holes in your carrier scraping away all the metal. So now we can lift our carrier off like so and then you'll find your three springs. So just take your three springs off. Now this is where you take note of how much higher the springs are sitting than the carrier bolts here. Um, so I would reckon about five mil. So when we put our springs on our new bolts, we want them to be five, in the exact same spot, five mil higher than the new bolts, but we will be using the original springs. So the next task is we're going to undo our six Phillips head screws there um, and they are number one size. This is where you want to be really careful you're not going to damage your mirror, drop everything on it. So rather than trying to dodge the camera here I'm going to go ahead, stop the camera, undo our six screws on our three retainers, remove those retainers and then we can remove the mirror. So I'll come back when we've done that. Okay so we've removed our three mirror retainers, that's our mirror sitting on our soft napkins upside down. I did notice I bought this scope second hand, it's the first time I've had to part and I think there is some scratches here, like someone's dropped something down the tube. Uh, we'll have to see how they look once we wash it but um, they're not going to affect anything too much because they're too small so underneath the mirror in the case of this telescope we have like a cardboard disc very thin one three bits of cork there that's just for the mirror to sit on so it's not sitting on solid metal and this is the internal part of the carrier with our three collimation bolts in there. So they are Phillips head screws, so we're going to take them out and you'll find they're very tight because you don't want them to move once you've put your scope all back together. Um, it'd be terrible going to collimate your telescope and these bolts end up turning instead of the nuts or the uh, bolts turn with the nuts should I say. So because I had this apart this far before and decided to put it back together and make a video of how to do this I was able to measure these bolts. So these bolts are 20mm long we wanted to move the mirror 30mm up so we went and got ourselves 
at 50 mil bolts. So we just take these three original bolts out. Oh, that one's tight. Like so. We then get our three new bolts. And the one I took out earlier to show you. And we're going to screw them back in where the original ones were. So I'll go ahead and I'll put these three bolts back in, put them up tight, and then we'll come back. Okay, so we've got our three bolts screwed in there. They're locked in tight. So the next thing we're going to do is take three of our little M5 nuts and put one on each bolt. So, then what we're going to do is get three of our M5 flat washers and we're going to sit that on there and we're going to get our spring and we're going to wind it down until it's that same five mil as it was proud of our original bolt. So once we, oops, sorry you're out of shot. So we just want to wind the nut down with the spring sitting on the washer until we've got our five mil that we had with our original bolt. Once we've got that height right, and then put another M5 washer on top, like so. Making sure we don't move the bottom one. And then we get out two 8mm spanners because that's what size these nuts are. And we lock them fairly firm. And then what you'll find is that the spring sits nicely over that nut and centralises the spring. So we're going to do that to the other two. Um, and then that is ready for the mirror to be placed back into this carrier and um, then we can place it back in to the outer shell of the carrier and we have retained our original springs and the modification becomes very easy. So now it's going to start raining because we're playing with a telescope. Um, as soon as you say telescope the rain's bound to come. I'll go ahead, I'll do the other two. Then what I'm going to do is do the mirror washing video in the middle of this video um, so for me it's going to be another hour or so till we get back to this but for you it'll be the next shot we'll be putting it back together okay so we gave our mirror a clean uh, I didn't do a video on it because there's that many uh, videos on mirror cleaning out there there doesn't need to be another one we do have the two small chips there unfortunately but um, that's what you get when you buy second hand equipment but other than that the mirror is fine, it's nice and clean so we've set up all our nuts at the right height locked them all up nice and firm so we can go ahead put our springs on and they just happen to fit perfect over the nuts which is good. So the springs sit in a recess here so you have to make sure they're in those recesses when you put the um, cap back on like so and you'll be able to see them when they're sitting in there properly like so that one there So now all our springs are good. All we have to do now is take our uh, 
collimating nuts and you will have to push the thing down a bit to get them on. Don't forget to put your uh, plastic washers back on. There is a couple of videos out there um, on how to do this but none of them are done like this where you retain the original springs and um, the original nuts the collimating nuts but as you can see that's how simple it is uh, it's ready to put our mirror back on there and then fit it back into the scope so the other thing I do not that it really matters is I put a little white mark here and on the side of the mirror before I take the mirror out just so I can get it back into the same spot but uh, that is how easy it is to do and uh, like I said all the nuts, bolts, washers, all from the hardware shop I went with stainless steel um, you don't have to there's not, not a lot of point in going stainless steel um, I just did so that's just what I like to do, use stainless especially if there's going to be any moisture in that around so that's it um, very easy and simple to do and like I said we retain our original springs, we retain our original nuts doing it this way um, there's no barrel nuts in here that can come undone uh, we're back to one single bolt on each uh, of the um, collimating nut bolt combos and uh, very quick, easy can't mess it up so what I'm going to do now is put the mirror back in set it back into the tube. While I've got the mirror out of the tube I'm just going to grab a damp cloth and give the inside of the tube a wipe to get any dust out of there as well. So uh, I hope that uh, video was helpful. Don't forget to put your cardboard and your little cork packer in there just so the mirror is not sitting on steel. It's sitting on those little three cork uh, packers. And um, once we put our mirror back in, now what I like to try and do, you'll see where the carrier the retainers were, put them back in the same spot and of course if you marked your mirror and your carrier like I did, you can put them back in exactly the same position it came out from. So there you go, that's how simple it is, hope that helped and um, that's going to get us to be able to gain prime focus with our DSLR camera now. Uh, I was going to try it out on the moon tonight because it's close to a full moon but of course we have clouds and rain because we're playing with telescopes. Alright guys, thanks for watching. One thing I did forget um, was our butterfly nuts. Unfortunately the extra three 50mm long bolts we had um, are not long enough because the butterfly nuts would interfere with our uh, collimating nuts so I've just screwed the extra three bolts we have in there for our lock nuts um, if you want to get 65mm long bolts for your lock bolts and screw them on or we'll see if you can find some that have got the butterfly head well and good um, but I'm happy just to lock them up slightly with a Phillips screwdriver once we're all collimated. So that was the plan, was to uh, screw these onto our locking bolts, but the locking bolts aren't long enough, so we're just going to put up with the Phillips screws, um, and they are long enough to do that uh, without protruding out too far. So we're all said and done. Our mirror has moved up that 30mm we needed, and uh, wishful thinking that the clouds are going to go away tonight. Uh, because it's just fully black out there and um, I don't think we'll be getting any moon shots tonight but uh, nonetheless I can do a bit of land observing make sure we can gain um, prime focus which we should be able to um, doing all the measurements I needed uh, an extra 25 mil is how far further away the camera sensor is than the lens on the eyepiece and we've gone 30 so um, that should give us a little bit of leeway